And happening right now, despite setbacks, it's opening night at Haas Farms annual Fall Festival. Several rides on this festival at the Haas Farms were red tagged as we reported last week. And new at 6 Action News Now reporter Taylor Helms is live there at Haas Farms. So Taylor, what can people expect to see and ride this year? Well, Haley and Allen, the bumper cars and the go-karts, they're A-OK. -okay. People have already been running around the track today, or rather driving around the track. But there's people flowing in, families are coming in. The Haas Farms opened at 5 p.m. tonight. And I'm going to give you a quick look around as to some of the things you can see here behind me. You can see the Goat Motel, what they've dubbed the Goatel 6. So there's about a dozen goats there that are making some noise. And as I'm going to pan over here to the left, people are still preparing for the fall festival. But back behind these buildings is the uh, haunted corn maze. So the haunted corn maze we previously reported was red tagged. It was, there were some safety concerns about the containers that are spread throughout the haunted corn maze. But I just talked with Nicola Haas, the wife of Greg Haas, the owners, and she said that they just got their permits approved today. So they are safe to use and open. They did overnight some anchors to anchor down those containers. And those were the safety concerns that the fire department had about the haunted corn maze. So you can see here what I'm showing you on the screen is the gem mining. So kids, families, anyone of all ages can come over here. They can mine for gems in the water. They can also pick up some uh, handmade Halloween necklaces right back there behind me. There's also the animals in the pen back behind the gem mining. So there's a cow, there's a calf, there's some emus, there's also turkeys. They're gobbling back behind me as well as some chickens. So plenty for anyone of all ages. Reporting live in Anderson, Taylor Helms, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Okay, Taylor, looks like fun. This weekend is Heroes Weekend to celebrate and honor law enforcement, active duty military members, veterans, and their families.